So a few weeks ago, I asked you all what kind of crochet pattern theme video you'd like to see next from me, and you all said witchy. And so I scoured the web for hours and hours, and I found 50 witchy crochet patterns to share with you. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a like, and I'm going to separate all these patterns into six different categories. Cardigans, accessories, home decor, applique and granny squares, dresses and tops. And as always, you can find all the exact things on my blog, which is linked in the description box below. All right, let's begin. First is the Wild Woman Cardigan Pattern by me. I was inspired by the Whimsicott aesthetic with this one and wanted to make a lacy, flowy flower cardigan inspired by nature. It's more intermediate level because of the counting and light sewing, and there are sizes extra small to 2XL with this one. And this one is a paid pattern in my online shop. Or make this filigree cardigan by Kimberly McAlladin. There are sizes small to 2XL, and the special stitches you need to know with this one are the foundation single crochet, decrease double crochet, and the shell stitch, which is seven double crochet in the same stitch. I just thought this one had a whimsical witchy vibe as well, and it's more intermediate level to make, and this one is a free pattern on the Yarnspirations website. And the particular yarn that they used has actually been discontinued for this one. So I really love using this website called Yarn Sub where you can plug in the yarn that they used and it'll share some different yarns to substitute it with. So it's a really helpful resource. I also liked this Celine Hooded Bolero by Creatrix in the Matrix. This one is more intermediate level to make, and that must be because of the color work to create the crescent moons on the sleeves, I'm guessing. And this one is a paid pattern in their Etsy shop. You can also make this Light Seeker cardigan by Weaving Witch by Ashley. This one is more intermediate level because of the color changes as well, and I love the moth and the moon on it. This one is size inclusive and has more of an oversized fit. And this one is a paid pattern in their Etsy shop. Or make this Moon Dance Cardigan by Moon Creek Valley. It's more upper intermediate as well and is inspired by the flow of the river glistening in the moonlight. I just thought that their inspiration in the lace work and the flowy nature of this piece gave me a witchy vibe. And this one is a paid pattern in their Etsy shop. This Night Court Hexagon Cropped Cardigan by Bookish Hook is also another great one. It's more advanced beginner and uses basic stitches to make it and would be easy to adjust the sizing. This one is a paid pattern in their Etsy shop as well. And I really like the different colors that they used with this one and the shaping. I also like this Blue Star Cardigan by TTCG Craft. There are sizes extra extra small to 3XL and this one uses basic stitches to make it. The sweater is worked first and then the stars are sewn on. And this one is a paid pattern in their Etsy shop. Or make this Willow Cardigan by Mana Crafts. There are sizes extra small to 3XL for this one and it has 39 pages of detailed photos as well as videos to help with creating it. And this one's available as a paid pattern in their website. I also thought that this All My Phases cardigan by Happy Heartsy is a great one. It's beginner friendly and only uses basic stitches to create it. The trickiest part is the moon phases on the back of the cardigan, and there are sizes extra small to 5XL for this one. And this one is a free pattern on their blog, as well as a YouTube video tutorial. All right, now I'll share some accessories patterns. You could make this Moon Goddess bag by me. It's 18 pages in total with helpful pictures to make it. It's advanced beginner to make because it uses the tapestry crochet method to make that triple Moon Goddess symbol and the Tunisian simple stitch to create that nice sturdy strap. It measures 20 centimeters by 18 centimeters, so it's perfect to put a journal or a book in. And this symbol stands for the three phases of a woman's life, the maiden, the mother, and the crone, which embodies the cyclical nature of life, death, and rebirth. And this one's a free pattern on my blog as well as an ad-free paid pattern in my online shop. I also like this witch hat by Javelin Crochet. This one is more beginner friendly and uses only basic stitches. And it's a YouTube video tutorial on her channel. And I just really like the character of this one and the texture as well as the pointiness. Or make this Luna Moth Bandana by Mythic Mist. This one is beginner friendly and would be pretty quick to whip up as well. And I just really liked all the little details with this one, like the little legs, and it's a paid pattern in their Etsy shop. I also loved this Druid hat by Wonderland Patterns Co. 
although druids are very different from witches, I thought I'd include this one in the list because they are both practices based in nature. But let me know if you'd like to see more specifically druid-inspired patterns. You can also embroider a triple moon goddess or another alchemical symbol if you want to make it a bit more witchy. This one is easy to make and only uses basic stitches to make it. And there are helpful tips on how to fully customize it and make it for any size as it is made to measure. And this one is a paid pattern in their Etsy shop. And if you want to check out more fairy core nature inspired patterns, you could check out the video of my favorite fairy core patterns in the card above. Next are the witch hat earrings by Emma Garside. I thought they were so fun. I thought these were a bit more advanced beginner, I'd say, because you do need a steel hook to make it with, which are the really tiny crochet hooks and crochet thread. And I just loved how they made these really nice delicate earrings. The finished size is one and a half by 1.25 inches, which is perfect for a smaller statement. And you can add studs or French hooks for this one. And this one is a free pattern in their Ravelry. This Felted Witch's Hat by Lion Brand is also really fun. It's more easy to create and has three sizes, small, medium, and large. And the smallest size would also work well for pets. It's a free pattern on their website. And to felt it, you just put it in the machine on hot with a cold rinse cycle, and then you put it in the dryer. This Evil Eye Market Bag by Yarn Drasil is also a great one. The Evil Eye is a talisman that protects from envious glances, and it's easy to create. And it's a free pattern on their website. Or this Moon Head Scarf is a lovely one. It's more advanced beginner level to make, and it's more of a blend of rustic and mystical style. And this one is a paid pattern on their website. All right, now I'll share some decor patterns. First is this gemstone holder by Heart Hook Home. This one is beginner friendly and easy to customize and is perfect for hanging around the house wherever you'd like a little special crystal charm. And this one is a free tutorial on their YouTube channel. I also like this tarot card holder by Magpig Creations. This particular holder fits three by five inch cards. And this one is a paid pattern on their Etsy shop. And they used a bead clasp here, which is really cool, but I personally would love to forage for a twig and use that as a clasp. Or make this tarot mat by Witch of Brush Hollow. This pattern uses basic stitches and shows how to customize the size to fit your deck with lots of helpful pictures to help with each step of creating it. And this one is a free pattern on their blog. I also love this witch doily by Maria Merlino. This one uses the filet crochet technique to make it, which is why it's rated more intermediate. But if you are a confident beginner, you can definitely give this one a go as it does have instructions on how to read the pattern and only uses basic stitches to make it and a steel hook. It measures 10 by six and a half inches. And this one would be a great altar cloth and it's a free pattern on their blog. Or make this moon goddess tapestry by Lily Cat Crochet. This one uses a mosaic crochet chart and the pattern is 76 stitches by 100 rows. It only uses basic stitches to make it and this one would make a great wall hanging or an altar cloth and it's a paid pattern on their website. This forest soul tapestry by Crochet or Cry is also really nice. The piece would measure 21 by 27 and a half inches. It has left-handed and right-handed instructions and uses the tapestry crochet method and this one is a paid pattern in their Etsy shop. This Cat Crescent Moon by Weaving Word Studio is also nice. This one is beginner friendly and first you crochet the cat, then stuff it with polyfill and then you crochet the moon. And this one is a YouTube video tutorial on their channel. This Pentagram Doily by Crochet by Maria is also a great pattern to create. This one would be lovely as an altar cloth or as a wall hanging. And this one is a free pattern on their website. Or make this Elements Grafgan by Phoenix River Designs. The size measures 64 by 64 inches and has written instructions and finishing instructions and full graphs for the entire blanket. And this one is a paid pattern in their Etsy shop. I also like this Crystal Ball by Handmade Divine 24. This one is more intermediate as it does use basic stitches and a bit of sewing. It measures five and a half by six and a half inches. And this one is a paid pattern in their online shop. I also liked this Pentagram by Ash Litton. It's a paid pattern in their Etsy shop. And I also thought that this one would be perfect for an altar and it's beginner friendly. You could also make this Witch Cauldron by Yum Yarn. The finished size is nine centimeters or three and a half inches, and it does use stuffing and a pipe cleaner or wire to create it. For this one, you make the cauldron in the round, then the legs, brew, potion bubbles, and the tentacles, 
and then assemble everything together. And this one is a free pattern on their website. Or make this planchette pillow by Weaving Witch by Ashley. This one is more advanced beginner and uses chenille super bulky yarn to create it. The finished pillow measures 12 by 14 inches and it uses basic stitches as well as increasing to make it. So this one would work up quite quickly because it does use super bulky yarn and it's available as a paid pattern in their Etsy. I also like this Lily Sugar and Cream Witch Dish Cloth by Your Inspirations. It's easy to create and measures 10 inches or 25 and a half centimeters and can also be made pretty quickly. You just work the hat, then the face and nose, and then finish it off by embroidering the mouth and eyes with French knots. And this one is a free pattern on their website. This rune set by Karen Glasgow Filet is also a great one. It measures 1.25 inches in diameter and not much crochet thread is needed to make it. For this one, you crochet the base and then stitch the glyphs on the top. And they have a chart with all the different glyphs to help create it. And it's available as a free pattern on their blog. All right, now I'll share some greeting squares and applique patterns. First, you can make this triple moon goddess by Jennifer Richelle. It uses basic stitches to make it, and with thinner yarn, it would be more flexible, while with thicker yarn, it would be more stiff. And it's a free pattern on their Ravelry. Or make this crescent moon and star. It's beginner friendly to make and would be so nice and easy to whip up and add to a variety of creations. And this one is a paid pattern in their Ravelry. I also like this moon granny square by Caffeinated Snail. It measures six inches and it's beginner friendly and worked in the round. And this one's a free pattern on their website and they also have a fun sun pattern that goes with it. So it'd be nice to make something with both of those squares together. This Evil Eye by Crochet Anything is also fun. It measures three by two inches and it's made in the round and is beginner friendly. This one's a free pattern on their blog. And these one would be so fun to use yarn scraps for and make a bunch of them and then just add them to a whole bunch of different creations. Or I also loved this pentagram granny square by Rose of May Grease. This one is worked in the round as well and looks like the pentagram is made with surface crochet. It would be beginner friendly as well. And this one is a paid pattern in their Etsy. I also like the Witch's Cauldron Granny Square by Vintage Hollow Queen. It's made in the round and I really like the details, like they added the witch's legs and moon and stars and bubbles. And this one measures four and a half inches and is a paid pattern in their Etsy shop. Or make this Eye Granny Square by Crochet Bits. This one is super whimsical and is fun. It measures 13 centimeters or five inches and is beginner friendly as it just requires basic stitches. It's worked in the round, and this one is a free pattern on their blog. Here is another Evil Eye Granny Square by Custom Comfy Crochet by Dawn. This one is worked in the round as well. And this one also has a YouTube video tutorial, which is helpful if you're a more visual learner. Now I'll share some dresses patterns. First is this gorgeous purple dress. This one is more of a make with me tutorial and has lots of helpful tips on each step of the creation process and would be a great tutorial to use to customize your own. And this is a YouTube video tutorial on their channel. This Midnight Moon Maxi Dress by Hannah is also a great one. I felt like the flowy nature of it gave me a whimsical witchy vibe and this is also a video tutorial on her channel. And this one had a lot of helpful tips with measuring and making each part and first you make the body and then the skirt and then you finish it off with those lovely ribbon straps. Or this Lilla Stitch by Scarlet Stitches is also a fun one. It gives me siren witchy vibes for sure with its meshy design and I liked the backless design of it. And this one is available in their Etsy shop. Now I'll share some tops patterns. First is this Sophia crop top by Crochet with Carrie. This one is beginner friendly and you start with crocheting the cups, then the main body, and then lastly the straps. And this one is available in their online shop. I also liked this Binks sweater by Alice Bylan, inspired by Thackeray Binks of Hocus Pocus. It wouldn't be a witchy roundup without a cat, so I thought why not include one inspired by this iconic character. It features the fillet technique to make it, so I placed it as more intermediate, and it's worked flat from the bottom up, and it's a paid pattern in the Ravelry shop. 
And this one's made to measure and I really liked how it's customizable. You can make it with long sleeves or short sleeves or make it cropped if you want. I also thought these zodiac sleeves by Ashley Bishop are really genius. There are 12 charts, one for each zodiac sign and there are written instructions to help with it as well. It's more advanced beginner level to create and it's made to measure. And this one is a paid pattern in the Ravelry. I also like this Beach Valley top by Drops Designs. It's more beginner friendly to make. First you work the front, then the back pieces separately from the top down. Then they are sewn together and the sleeves are worked from the top down as well in the round. A small edge is worked along the sides of the pieces to finish it off. They have sizes small to 3XL and a helpful diagram as well. And I just thought that this one had a really nice earthy whimsicoth vibe to it and it's a free pattern on their website. This pentagram top by Corn Crochet is also a fun one. It's intermediate level to make and they have sizes extra small to extra large. And this one is a paid pattern in their Etsy shop. This Phase of Life Holter by Weave Witch by Ashley is also a really cool one. It's made to measure and it's a paid pattern in their Etsy. And the only special stitch is the shell. And a bit of color changing is also needed to create the phases of the moon. And I really like the moon faces with this one and the fact that it has a lot of coverage. You can definitely wear it by itself or you can layer it on top of something else. Or make this witchy crochet halter top by Dana B. And this one is a video tutorial on her channel. The size featured in her video is for small medium, but she has tips on how to customize it for your size. And I really like the lacy design with this one and that it has coverage as well so you can wear it by itself. Well, what did you think of my 50 witchy crochet patterns? Let me know in the comments below and also don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe and click the bell and join me back here each week for more crochet inspiration. Also check out all of the exact links to all these patterns on my blog post, which is linked in the description box below. And while you're over there on my website, don't forget to subscribe to my weekly newsletter where I send more crochet inspiration directly to your inbox. Well, thank you for watching and I hope you'll join me in the next one.